Okay. Hello and welcome to another Jet Vlog. This should be Jet Vlog number 20. Today we're going to talk about cell phones, which I know you're all very anxious for me to discuss. But I actually, even though I've lived here for four years, do not own a cell phone. And my friend Anna, who is behind the camera today, um, is going to make me laugh during this vlog, I'm sure. So I apologize in advance. Um, I'm also in her apartment. One thing you should know is, for instance, here in Anna's apartment, she doesn't have air conditioning in her main room here. She only has it in her bedroom. So it's very hot. We're using fans, and uh, there's just nothing you can do about it. Um, but we're going to talk about cell phones. So I stole Anna's cell phone, and our friend Judy is here too. And uh, I stole Judy's cell phone. Well, this one looks like Judy's cell phone. Um, she's got Pariker on the back. So I'm going to ask them questions, and they're going to answer from behind the camera since they're very shy. Yes. Um, so your typical cell phone in Japan, you open it up, your numbers, your screen with everything. Shut up! And uh, this is where you can see pictures, send text messages. It's obviously been four years since I've seen a cell phone in America, so I'm not sure exactly what they're like. This one takes pictures. Don't come in too close. Do you want to look at the cell phone? Don't look at me. And you have to have one of these dangly, cute things on your cell phone. It's like a law in Japan. So there you go. Mine broke. <laughs> okay, so there you go. There's a whole industry dedicated to cell phone strap things. So um, there's three companies. I have this wonderful visual aid. There's SoftBank, AUKDDI, which is what Anna has, and Docomo. Okay? What do you have, Judy? AU. AU. So AU is very popular. The basic thing I think you need to know is that when you get to where you're going to be living, for instance in Izumo, a lot of the new ALTs last year all went out and got the same cell phone package basically. Because if you do, you get to text message each other very cheaply. Um, and Anna's giving me a strange look. Is that not correct? Um, it's just that it's zero or one yen for a phone, so they all got the same style. Yeah. You can, you can pay money and actually buy a very nice cell phone, or you can get like a free cell phone with the package. So for instance, about how much do you pay per month, Judy, for your cell phone? 5,000 yen? I don't remember. Yeah, that, that's fairly common. I've asked a bunch of jets. How about you, Anna? How much do you pay? About 10,000. So she pays about a mon, which is about $100 approximately. She's going to show you her bill. Make sure there's nothing on there that they need to see. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so obviously the more you talk, the more you text, etc. There are no free calls in Japan, basically. Um, and it even cost me from my landline when I call a cell phone, for instance. Um, so be aware. But Isn't yeah. that usual? Um, well, not in America. I mean, in America you can make a you local call. You don't pay for cool. No, no. What? Anyway, all right. Well, that's a discussion for another thing. Um... What else do you need to know about cell phones? To get your cell phone when you first arrive, you will need your what we call Gaijin card or proof that you've applied for your alien registration card is, is what it's really called. Um, so most likely you'll go out with your supervisor or somebody else to help you. There's paperwork you have to fill out in Japanese. Um, but yeah, expect to pay about 5,000 to 7,000 yen a month to have a cell phone. Um, they're pretty awesome. I mean, you can take pictures, you can text message, send email. Anna was just telling me tonight that hers has a built-in kanji dictionary. Um, she can send, she can access the internet. Um, there's different packages. What else, or what else can you do with yours, Anna? Sums. She has a calculator. Sometimes a dictionary is included. Mm, yeah, dictionary. yeah I, I mentioned that dictionary. Okay, so they're being <laughs> really helpful. Um, and if you lose it, etc., I mean, I've known jets who bend over, they have it in their shirt pocket, they bend over at the toilet and it falls into the toilet or something. Um, there are ways to get replacements, and Anna wants to mention something about that. Train timetables. Uh, she took hers to Tokyo recently, and it was very helpful because she was able to access the Yahoo website or hy Hyperpedia and yeah, look up yeah. all the train times and stuff. 
it is very handy. I don't have one. I don't really feel I need one. I've survived without one, so don't feel like you have to get one or get one your very first month here. Unless you want a girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> but don't get one. Don't sign up. Don't do anything at Tokyo Orientation. Wait till you get to your prefecture. See what other people, other jets that you meet, plan that they're on, because if you're on the same one, it will make it cheaper for you in the long run. Anna, you want to add something? Check if you have signal in your apartment. Yeah, um, that's that's good to know. And for instance, when I first came, I really wanted to get something called Yahoo BB, because I'd heard so much about it at Tokyo Orientation. And it's like this way you can call home cheaply, like long distance phone calls and have internet, but it wasn't offered in my area of Shimane. So just because you hear something about something at Tokyo doesn't mean it will be available in your prefecture or area. Okay, I think that's about it for cell phones. Um, the cost, the availability. Um, you won't need a credit card. You won't need to leave a deposit or anything when you first go. You might need your Hanko, your Incon, your, your stamp, um, and your Gaijin card, um, or proof that you've applied for your Gaijin card. And your supervisor will help you with that. Um, there's tons of places to get them. Everywhere sells them. Electronic shops, little stores by themselves, in the Jusco, in the department stores. No matter how rural you're going to be, there's going to be a place to buy a cell phone. Do not worry. Okay? That's it for this blog. Thanks so much for uh, watching again. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Judy. <laughs> how do I stop? Ready?